Okay, game three here of my ladder up match against Mokomoko. Um, to remind you of the ladder up tournament rules, um, the goal is not to win the match, but to outperform your rating expectation. Um, so that is not quite the same. Um, if you're playing someone exactly rated the same as you, then it's just to win your match. But if you're playing someone who's a lot better, you know, you just have to win a game or two. If you're playing someone who's a lot worse, you maybe have to win all the games. Um, and as the case here, Mocha and, Mocha and I are, are pretty closely um, pretty closely rated, so I just have to have a slight edge in the match. Um, so I need to win two and a half out of the next four games. Looking at this kingdom, um, Way of the Mole is very interesting moving through your deck quickly. Lost Arts um, lets you put your plus action token on something. Um, potentially Nobles, but maybe maybe Oracle is a better a better card to put Lost Arts on. Um, I could even believe putting Lost Arts on Merchant Guild um, and doing a lot of draw stuff with Chariot Races, uh, Mountain Villages, and using Seer to draw lots and lots of cards. Um, interesting. I think I'm going to open with Bounty Hunter, though. Um, so if, if I'm going to do this stuff with Lost Arts. I really need to... If I'm going to put Lost Arts on Oracle, I have to buy an Oracle here. I don't have to, but that's the, the best play. If I'm going to put Lost Arts on Merchant Guild, I can really do whatever I want. Uh, like buy Silver or something to try to hit. The thing is, with, with Bounty Hunter, you, you're, you're very likely to hit 6, your first shuffle, um, and then not after that. So if I already want to put Lost Arts on Oracle, um, that seems like the cheapest and fastest way to get tons of draw. Um, and then my terminal actions can be Merchant Guilds. So I think I'm going to go with the Oracle here. Um, I could be convinced that... Um, I could be convinced that the best place to put your your token is on... Um, is on Merchant Guild. I don't think Nobles is quite the right place. I think the $6 price point is up to hit often. Um, so this will be a forehand, and I'll just buy an Oracle here. Um... um do I want to trigger this shuffle? I guess I do. I guess I do. Um, I will make them top deck that. Um, slightly annoying with this interface is, yeah, it makes you decide between the bad two bad things. Um, so I was able to draw my pouch, which is really nice. So I can get an oracle and a tracker. Um, and here I'm going to bounty hunt a copper, I guess, and buy the merchant guild and realize that I have two terminals and my next turn, I'll buy a, pick up a Mountain Village if I can. I can also mull this to get more turns, but I want to I keep thinning my deck. Um, I can actually believe that playing Bounty Hunter on the estate and buying another Oracle is right. And then in my next... Hmm, I'm going to do that, I think. Bounty Hunter on gain an Oracle. I can always Bounty Hunt a... Um, I can always Bounty Hunt those coppers later. So they use their mountain village to as a mole to keep moving through their deck. Mole's nice in certain certain circumstances to quickly move through your deck. Um, the thing is the decks aren't super great right now, so I'm not quite I'm not <laughs> sure you want to be moving through them. You want to be playing your actions for value, not for that wasn't quite coherent. Um, the decks aren't super thin, or aren't super great right now. So the mole just draws you like two coppers in an estate. Often, that was the worst. It was the worst of all worlds for me. There, I didn't want to draw my oracle dead. Um, there was only one. There are two boons that did that: the seas gift and the earth's gift, and they discarded my other oracle. Um, so I'm just going to keep clicking on oracle, and I can actually top deck that with the tracker, which is nice. Um, so I have four oracles, so I can pretty much get through my whole deck here. Um, and I will have some amount of money ranging from 6 to 10, and I can decide what I want to do with it. Um, they got the Sun's Gift. That would have been a very nice gift for me to get last turn. Um, but the, the boons are random, so you can't, you can't think too much about that. Um, so I'm a little bit confused. They seem to be going in hard for the Oracle, so I can certainly see myself just buying double Oracle here. Um, I'll discard those. And I guess I will top deck those. Um, I'm not quite sure what the best course of action there is. Um, this is the annoying part, is they have to keep deciding over and over again. Um, 
So I have one more Oracle down there, but I'll trigger Shuffle with one bad card, so that should be fine. Okay, so if I Bounty Hunt a Copper here, um, what do I want to buy? I probably just want to buy Double Oracle. Um, so yeah, I'll Bounty Hunter an Estate now. That's fine. And with seven, I think I will just go double Oracle. They seem to have gone in for the Oracle pile, um, which leads me to believe that they're going to try to, they were going to try to put their Lost Arts action on it. And since I just bought up a bunch of them, that's a lot less appealing for them now. Um, I don't even need to buy that last one um, based on based on that. Um, they exiled an Oracle there for plus three money. That's really strange. They just, I mean, I assume they're going to buy the last one. No. That's really strange. That was a mistake. I should not have played that. Um, just going to kind of make them discard everything good. Until I see something that's really bad. Top deck. Discard. Um, okay, so... Plus action, it's not helpful. Okay, great. I've got 11 now, um, and I can consider consider what I want to do now. I think something along the lines of Nobles Merchant Guild um, lets me keep, gets, gets me a plus buy. I'm not really worried about them getting the Oracle out. They're far enough behind on the Oracles um, that it doesn't help them. Um, and I need to get plus action so I can play multiple cards, and then I need to get uh, more buys. Um, and Merchant Guild lets me start adding up the coffers, so Nobles, Top Deck, Merchant Guild, not Top Deck. Um, six Oracles and 17 cards, plus a Will-O-Wisp, so six Oracles and 16, 15 cards. Um, I feel pretty good about my shuffles here, um, not drawing, you know, a bunch of coppers and Nobles at the, the top. Um, but that is why I didn't play the... Uh, I didn't top deck the Merchant Guild because I wanted to make sure it wasn't right at the top. I could believe not top decking the Nobles there too is better. Um, and actually my search space is even more because they have Oracles. Um, so they have an Oracle in Exile, so they can buy it back now if they want to. Um, the advantage I have here is they've trashed, gotten rid of more coppers than me, so they have less money. Um, I'm going to have last turn was an artificially high because I exiled the copper. Um, but I can always exile a tracker or something and buy it back if I want the extra plus two money. Um, they just went with a mountain village. Um, and my sort of thought here is I'm going to, as long as I see, um, I guess I will discard those. Um, as long as I see an oracle in those two cards, I will um, keep it, and otherwise I'll pass on it. Um, that's definitely a pass. Their deck is almost good to the point where it doesn't quite matter what I top deck for them. Um, that seems as bad as anything. Okay. Um, I could even bounty hunt the will o -Wisp, but that seems, still seems to have a lot of value for me. So plus actions, play Merchant Guild. Um, if I were to get, with this tracker, the Wind's Gift, I would actually be pretty... Um, pretty happy to see the if I got the wins gift I'd be pretty happy to see have the willow wisp in hand so I can discard three here um, to gain a gold um, and then I can draw two back putting two bad cards on top of my deck is it worth the risk the extra payload I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm payload now so I think I think it's a, almost worth the risk um, I can top deck that. Oh, I don't have any more action, so it, it's kind of a moot point. Um, I'll buy an Oracle, top deck it, and I believe my deck, because I've added draw, can support one copper. Not top decked, obviously. Um, buying that copper gives me an extra coffer here. Um, I'm going to be bounty hunting a co copper every turn. And I added two cards of draw there, and I added two cards uh, with the Oracle, and I added a gold. 
and the coppers evened out. Um, this turn with the extra payload I'm looking to get, again, Nobles, Merchant Guild. Um, I could also believe that my deck needs a Seer um, for more draw, um, because I have all these Oracles that cost three. Um, the Tracker, the Bounty Hunter. Um, what I haven't talked about yet, and mostly that's because I didn't think of it, um, is that Oracle is really good at lining up for Chariot Races. Um, I guess I really want my my pouch this turn, and I think I'm going to be able to draw everything. So chariot races are going to be nice pickups for me. Actions, bounty hunt to copper, play the tracker first. Um, I feel good on draw at this point. Is it worthwhile trashing a copper? Let me count the number of coins I have this turn. I have 5, 6, 9, 10. 10 to, 9 to 12, depending on what I want to buy this turn. Um, and if I want to buy like a Nobles and two Chariot Races, um, that's 12. So I'm not going to trash here. Uh, so yeah, Nobles, don't top deck, and I will top deck the Chariot Races. So now the goal is to find oracles to put on top of the deck and then chariot races and win the chariot races every time um, and get a bunch of VP and continue building my deck. Um, and I think Mocha saw that and decided they'd had enough. Let's move on to the next game. I, I jumped out to a lead there um, and it worked out pretty nicely. All right, on to game four.